So, normally, I don't actually show my games. I just show fixing things, but I know a lot of people like to see um, the actual games and history and so forth and so on. So this is one of my favorite games of all time, Centipede from Atari, made I think in 81 or 80. And uh, there's an interesting story I just saw in the uh, other day that was a reprint from an IE, IEEE story about the making of Centipede. But this is uh, one of the games that I, if I ever sold my games, this is the one that would stay. Um, I got this, I want to say like in 2001, 2002. Um, and at the time, it was, back then, I didn't, well, I, for my video games, I usually never paid anything for them. I would buy all trash ones for less than 100 bucks. That was like my rule is I didn't buy a video game for less than 100 bucks. And, um, and I would fix it up. This one actually was, at the time, I paid more money for this than anything. I think I paid 550 for it. Um, from an, it was actually on site in an arcade in what is it? So, not Silver Spring, Maryland, but um, Rockville, Maryland. Rockville, Maryland. It was actually on site. I went to visit. It was in an eBay auction, and I went to visit it. And uh, you know, it was the art was ripped up, and I'll put a link to where my restore in it. Um, but it's got new side art from I want to say that was ArcadeShop.com, original um, glass marquee. Original bezel. I had the original monitor in there, but it was so burnt with uh, mushrooms that I swapped it out with another of the same type. That is a new control panel. Um, the original coin door, which I repainted and put that Atari sticker as well as this, the, the red Atari sticker up there. New uh, T molding. And again, that, that side. And you can see I did a little, I screwed up a little bit when I was fixing this one, or restoring this one. Um, this the whole corner was just off, so I, I um, bonded it in. I mean, literally, it was missing, and it was just like, just a hole there, and uh, so I bonded it in. It was either completely missing or like half of it was broken half. I, I, I want to say it was completely missing, but I don't remember. I have to look in my restore, and so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Th this is one of the first games I ever restored, and I didn't do the greatest job. I also didn't do the greatest job when I put it on, um, and. I wasn't very good at sanding and painting back then, but it's beautiful. This is a beautiful game. It does have a new trackball in it, new bearings, uh, the buttons new. These are original. And um, so I just thought I need to take a break today. I have been making videos and I don't have time to make tech videos, but today I just have a few minutes and I, you know, I haven't played Centipede forever. It's one of my favorite games ever. So I'm just gonna play Pen Pen Centipede and uh, maybe talk about it for a bit while I play. And we'll see how long it lasts. I, Normally I can play Centipede for a long time, but I haven't played, I don't think I've played in years. It's been sitting turned off for years, mostly. So we'll, we'll turn it on and play. Now, Centipede for me has an interesting history because it is the game that got me into arcade repair. Um, I used to collect, I, you know, I, I still do collect video games, and I would have boxes and boxes of all the games that I had and spare motherboards for all the games in the case they broke. And one day, and I think the year was 2011 or 2020, I, um, it, Centipede, I went to play it one day. I actually have Centipede Millipede. This is my brace kit, so you can switch between both. I actually like Centipede better than Millipede. Millipede is fun, and every once in a while I like to switch to Millipede, but I, there's something about Centipede and its simplicity. You can really zone into it. But, um, Centipede is an interesting game because, like I said, uh, this is a game I always play. I, I always come down there and play Centipede, and if I play a video game, and uh, well, mo for the most part, at least back then, this is this is my go-to game. My other games, I've been barely ever turned on. Um, and one day, it came down and it didn't work, and I said, ah, "Crap!" So I'm like, "That's all right. I got a Centipede backup board. Got my Centipede backup board out. It didn't work." And I started flipping out because I'm like, "Okay, well, I can buy another board or get it fixed." Uh, more than likely buy one. It's going to be a pain to you know find one on eBay and hopefully find one that works. And um, but I'm like, what happens in ten years if this happens? Um, I won't be able to just go get them. Now, although you still can now, ten years later. But um, so I decided then. I always wanted to learn to fix them. I decided then that was what I was going to do. So I spent probably three months fixing a centipede board. Ended up actually it was a millipede board because it has a centipede millipede combo in it. Um, and um, and um, it was funny because I actually made the right fix, but I did bad with my soldering, and um, I made the right fix early. And but 
I screwed up somehow when I was doing it and it didn't work. And so I basically replaced every chip on here, almost. Um, I think I still have the same board in that I, that I literally replaced like almost every chip on. Um, but anyway, that was, uh, so then I just started buying broken centipede boards off eBay, fixing them and learning how to do it. Just taught myself and, um, and that's how I learned. Anyway, let's play centipede. I love centipede. You can zoom out, you just zone out when playing it, you know? It just, the, the trackball, it, there's something about it, the colors, it's, it's, and you gotta play centipede in the dark. You can't play it in the light. Um, but what's interesting is that article that I mentioned where it talks about the, the lady who designed this, the girl who designed this, and her choices, and it's funny because I guess people thought she was like crazy and they didn't, you know, they didn't respect her choices, and everything she did is like everything I love about this game. From the colors to the fact that she's a trackball, and a simple, it just, there's just something about it, and I just zone in. Or zone out when I play centipede. Now, it's funny because um, she was afraid of spiders, and I'm also, I hate spiders. That's why the spider is the enemy. But um, it's funny, in this game, spiders are your... They're your nemesis, but they're also your help. Because in this game, the, the one key thing is you got to get rid of the mushrooms alone in the board. They will destroy you if you get filled up with mushrooms. So this little flea guy comes in. He's an easy way to get points. But he'll come and put mushrooms on the board. Um, and the spider, though, while he's annoying because he comes and kills you, he also wipes out the mushrooms. So he is your he is a blessing and a curse in this game. Same with the flea. The flea is a blessing and a curse because you can get a lot of points with the flea. And you can also use the flea because you know it can only shoot so many bullets on the board at one time. If you want to get somebody, you can line up the flea when he's coming down and just um, kind of zone in on him and uh, and they'll make your bullets go faster because as he gets closer, your, your shots get faster. As they... Same with the mushrooms. You can keep a mushroom here if you want to get somebody. You know, you just wait for somebody to come by and just slowly destroy the mushroom as you, they're like a single guy's come by. This is not my, my uh, high scores got erased, I don't know how many years ago somehow, and I, oh shit, now see, this is the problem, the mushrooms are, the mushrooms are the, the damn, alright, so you got me. That wasn't the best score so far for one player, but hey, I haven't played this game in years, so. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out these stupid uh, mushrooms. Because if you haven't figured out yet, every time you hit a, the guy hits a mushroom, the second he hits a mushroom, he goes down. It, uh, he, he starts going down. And they will, they will mat, really mess you up. So I try to keep those mushrooms. Everything in this game is a blessing curse. Same thing with the uh, centipede or the um, scorpions, because they can make the centipedes go crazy, but also they go crazy in a way that's actually really beneficial. With if you don't get overloaded, is really beneficial to you, because they go up, they go down, and then they come back up. Which, as long as you don't get hit by the initial attack, and you don't have all the mushrooms everywhere, you can wipe them out real fast. So I'm going to use the mushroom here to make sure I hit him. You do not want them to get to the bottom, because once you get to the bottom, other centipedes start coming up from the sides. And that boss, see, they have the mushroom. Man, my settings high and hard. Yeah. You just zone out when you play this game. It's so much fun. That's why I like Sunny's. Military, you can zone out. It's too insane. It's just too fast to zone out for. But I love Centipede. Oh, they got me. I'm not going to have a good game this game, but that's okay. Not a bad game. First game in a couple years. It's got to be at least three or four years since I play this game. Because I have not played it since Coronavirus hit. I don't know the last time I played it since then. Because before I was fixing, before that, I was fixing boards so much and doing other things that I...